it's liner time uh, as you can tell we got some snow but it's still kind of warm out here it's uh, packing snow so the time to put your liner in is when you have three days in a row day and night below zero that's what we got so let's go it's uh it's a little bit frozen my storage technique was not great mason i need some help oh i've got a good idea about time to bust out the winter stuff all right mason we need to get this down there but it is super heavy i have a plan grab that end over there and we'll plop it on there slide. don't grab it on there ready mm. oh left a little too heavy all right you pull it down the hill all right ah. you can do it gravity ah. and the reduced friction ah. i can't do it we can do it as a team stabilize it with snow okay go let's go teamwork pull 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 you gotta steer this ship. Oh, Hayden's here. Well, hey, let's just get it to that big hill and then it'll really go. Let's just send it down that hill. I'm ready, are you ready? Okay, let's send it. Luna, get it, get it. Get it. Yeah. Might freeze this whole pass so we can skate down. That'll be like the Red Bull crashed ice portion. Yeah. Hey, and you want to just grab the side of that box? <laughs> Tips for putting your liner in. If it has snowed a lot, then get the snow out. I use this uh, Toro electric snowblower, which is pretty nifty. Look at this. Boom. Looks like there's one more dirt. Uh, it did blow some sand around. The ground isn't frozen yet, so it was picking up some of the sand and blowing that around. But we do have the snow out. Let's roll this liner out. Let's go. Use those muscles. Ah, get some snow. Get some snow. Get some snow. Good job, buddy. Love that toque. What is that? How to hawk and the, the old paint can sweater? You stylish kid. Luna. <laughs> She's taking a poop. That is the most entertaining thing. It's brand new. It was from Rink Master. They're at a Guelph. Uh, looks good to me. We gotta make sure we roll it the right way. Can I help you roll it? You for sure can. Let's get rid of this box. Stay there until the summertime. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> you also should look for like nails, sticks, things like that. Anything that could stick into it. Yeah, yeah. anything that might be underneath that's heavy. Nails, screws. Um. Oh wait, how big did I say this rink was? 60 feet? I think the liner was only 50. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're a little bit short. Nah! Just kidding. <laughs> we added some extra over here. Okay, so this yeah. rink is 60 feet long. So we have lots. Yeah. yeah, I think the tarp was is 64 or 65. It looks like we have a few feet on each side. Well, because you needed to climb the boards, go over the board, and then clamp on. All right, right, so you need a little bit extra on each side. You be cameraman, okay? Oh. You roll that. Can you go get a shovel? Oh, just to clean up the edges? You probably need it on each side, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't hurt. There's one right there if you just want to. Hey. It's good to get any extra. Hey. <laughs> don't, don't want that extra in the corners. Messing up your -uh. fit. You are not being here. Something so satisfying about a fresh tarp. <laughs> okay, Mason, here's your challenge. You gotta run from this side to the other side and don't get lost. You mark? Get set? Go. Go, 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 Mason. <laughs> He's halfway there. Will he make it? Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's like that movie Tremors. Da, da, da. <laughs> oh, great. Go get it, you subterranean earthworm. <laughs> Oh, he's way off target. You find a hat under there? I can't find it. Uh oh. Ta da! Mason! I found your hat! Ah! I'm stuck in a 
Try. There you go. Daddy? Yeah. I'm going to do that one more time. It's so funny. Yeah, it's really fun. All right. It's really fun. <laughs> one more run underneath. Here you go. Just hold it right there and go. See you on the other side. Hope you're ready. Yeah. Okay, Mason, time to fill it. So you got to get out of the rink. You got to grab the liner and pull it over the boards. Oh no, we got dirt in it. Ah, oh. clamps will help. We've got it in place. I've just rolled up the end. I'm just going to give it a pull until it's pretty much wrinkle free. You don't want any big wrinkles that are sticking up like uh, this one right here. You know, you can imagine if you add water and that freezes into the ice, you're kind of pooch. So you want to get as many, as wrinkle free as possible. The liner's in, ready to fill, except for one problem. How are we going to get water down here? I need like a bucket. Walk up the hill, dump the bucket in. Walk up the hill, dump the bucket in. Either that or we need about 200 feet of hose. Let's check. Here we go. I think that's about 200 feet of hose. I really don't want to run it down there, come up, turn it on, and then go back down there. So I'm just going to turn it on now and let's go. Uh-oh, you're getting a little tight. We're going to make it. Will it make it to the ring? Come on. Woohoo! I should clamp it on there. It is 148. Place your bets. How long will this rink take to fill? I'm gonna say probably like five hours. I feel I should really clamp this thing down. I don't know why I think this is funny, but <laughs> it's like it's trying. No! I wanna get away! There we go. Piece of wood, hold it in place. Olivia. Uh, Olivia, what are you doing? Why do you have your bathing suit on? Uh, you're gonna swim in the hockey ring for real? <laughs> I was joking and said that they could uh, go swimming in the rink and they took me seriously. They ran upstairs and got their swimming stuff on, so. We just have a little puddle out there right now. But maybe this is the start of a family tradition. Uh, once it gets more filled up, I'll get my swimming stuff on and we'll go. See it out there? See the puddle? It's a big puddle. Yeah, once it fills all the way up, we'll go in it, okay? okay. Hey, I keep going up there. Bringing in some reinforcements. So the neighbor Scott uh, came over. We, we got like every hose in the neighborhood here. I figured I got a, a faucet on each side of the house. We can double up the, the speed of the fill. We only have a puddle out there. We want to swim in it by the end of the day. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> it is now 3.51 and this is where we're at so far. Definitely would be an overnight affair. So uh, we got more water on the way. Okay, my guess I think was a little off. It's 9.46. Let's go see. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, such a beautiful sound. Let's, let's see. Uh, okay, looks here. We got like three inches. What is that? What is in my rink? No. No. Now we see uh, how level the boards actually were. <laughs> It's looking good, okay, so, oh yeah, nice. You can get some ice forming. So it looks here like there's a bit of an air bubble. I think if I let go of this clamp, let some pressure off, it'll pull the liner close to the boards. Wow. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> I think that's a hammer. <laughs> How did we miss that? <laughs> That's definitely a hammer. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> Jeez, anything else under the line? <laughs> oh, I hope I don't rip it. All right, extraction method. Oh boy, it's getting close to ripping too. Look at... Yeah, scary stuff. Right there. I better get it. Oh, wish me luck. Oh, 
Oh my god. That was actually so scary. Basically, if that piece of metal dragged on that, it would just cause a huge rip and this water would not stay in there. So, <laughs> yes, that was a good spot. Also, I just spent the whole time with this flashlight when I could have just done this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> kind of forgot I had those lights set up. Whoopsie. That looks amazing. Oh my god, this is... I cannot wait for this to freeze. Yes. Oh, I spent a lot of time down here. Next to your hot tub. Right there. Next to the fire pit. Ooh. I'm thinking I might just build a bunkie over there and not even go back up to the house. Just all winter down here. It's 1240. Let's check... Got a few inches of boards left here. That's nice. Looks like we got water everywhere. We just take a second to appreciate how beautiful this is. It's now 1 a.m. and I just realized that the rink is almost full. It could use a little bit more, but if I turn the hose off right now, that means I have to wrap it all up. 200 feet of hose to put it in the garage, and that's a chore. And it's wet and cold. Or I let it run all night, but then it might get too full. You know what? I'm going to let it run for like a half, it's a late night. Let it run for half an hour and go and get that hose at like 1.30. 2.30 a.m. and the rink is filled. So if that was your guess, <laughs> congrats. And yeah, time to reel up the hose. This one shouldn't be too bad because, well, I got the reel. It's the, uh, the other heavy duty 200 foot hose that I'm worried about. So this should go, this should be pretty quick. We'll put that in the garage so it doesn't freeze. Can we just appreciate how beautiful this looks and how quiet it is at 2.36 at night? Okay, I go pick up some hose. Uh, thanks for watching the video and stay tuned for when this freezes. We'll do more videos. Later, guys. <laughs>